you know how many animals I have now? Question. Four dogs. They're in my freezer. I'm gonna have a barbecue. <laughs> Bobby's a cuck. He fantasizes about other dudes being with me and he gets off on it and he'll never admit to it. Yeah, let him know. F you, Koreans. This is Bobby Lee. He's a well-known Asian American comedian and unfortunately also one of the faces of Asian male representation in the media. As you can see, he's no Shang-Chi. He's quite literally the opposite of a Jack Asian superhero as his claim to fame was selling out Asian people. He does this by fulfilling embarrassing acting roles that serve as the butt of Asian jokes. This is problematic since for the longest time, Asian men have been destroyed by Hollywood and big media companies. They would only get casted in non-masculine effeminate roles that essentially fulfill the nerdy tech guy or loser Asian that never gets the girl. You would think that Asian guys have more self-respect than to play these roles, but then you realize that there's plenty of clowns out there such as Bobby Lee. I mean, this guy literally built his career and following by pandering to negative Asian stereotypes. If you think about any traits you'd want to be successful in modern dating, you know, things such as being good looking, act confident, Bobby Lee literally encompasses zero of those traits. He's not the greatest looking guy, looks like he took one too many cookies from the cookie jar, and built his career on self-deprecating humor. If you think about any racist jokes that's been made towards Asians, you can bet that Bobby Lee has doubled down on these jokes to build his following, as this guy literally doesn't care about Asian representation and will do anything to gain a follower. How come you don't see many Asian people with Down syndrome? We have the same <laughs> amount as you white people. It's just that sometimes you just can't tell. <laughs> Koreans are, are look like... What? They look like what? Down syndrome people, right? To make things worse, Bobby Lee is not only a joke when it comes to comedy, but he's literally a walking clown in real life. I mean, the only way he could ever get a girlfriend is by disrespecting himself to the lowest level as a man, by being a cuck. We might as well give him the nickname, Bobby Lee, the father cuck. I was in a room with a girl while she was f another guy at a party. He'll never this... admit to it, but Bobby's a cuck. I think that he fantasizes, <laughs> I think that he fantasizes about other dudes being with me and he gets off on it and he'll never admit to it. No, that was a clip of Bobby Lee and his ex-girlfriend. I mean, imagine if you were Bobby Lee where your girlfriend's making jokes about you in public and you literally just have to sit there and take it or else she'd leave you. To me, that just seems like having zero romantic leverage where, you know, the girl wears the pants in the relationship and you're literally just her so now that we covered Bobby Lee and a little bit about him, you might be wondering, Chang, why do you care about Bobby Lee? He's just one Asian guy and there's billions of Asians in the world. Now that might be true. However, Bobby Lee is one of the highest visibility Asian guys in the US, especially when it comes to entertainment and media. And this guy's been running around for a decade, putting down Asian people just to build his following. He's been used as the puppet by these media companies to essentially promote the image of Asian men that they're weak, nerdy, and low self-esteem. If you think about any Asian jokes that's been made regarding small eyes or other body parts, you can thank people such as Bobby Lee who help promote these stereotypes. And the scary part about these type of jokes is that it makes it seem like it's okay to make racist jokes since people think, oh, there's an Asian guy making jokes about his own race, so anyone can make jokes about Asian guys. However, this is far from the case. If this type of thing happened towards any other minority, there'd be a lot more pushback. And the thing is, there are plenty of Asian guys out there who are willing to make make fun of their own race or self-deprecate in order to gain some approval and validation. And these guys are actually known as Uncle Chans, an Asian person who validates negative stereotypes for the white man's approval. Uncle Chans come in all shapes and sizes. And even thinking back to my own life, I remember plenty of situations where I was the only Asian guy in the friend group. Oftentimes my friends would tell me like, oh yeah, most Asian guys are weird, but you know, you don't count, you're one of the cool Asians. So I was essentially serving as the token. It's pretty common for Uncle Chan's to really serve as this token. Like, I probably Uncle Chan at some point in my life. Just because in certain environments, it is easy to self deprecate or almost like be ashamed of your culture since you see that it's rewarded, right? In this case, in the form of social validation. However, I personally think that by calling out clowns such as Bobby Lee, who essentially promote Uncle Channing at the highest level, we can put an end to this type of negative Asian male representation since, as I've described, it does have larger consequences to society. We've come a long way in the past few years in terms of positive Asian male representation thanks to social media companies as well as Netflix. It's all the more important right now to make sure to call out any Uncle Chan behavior whenever you see it so that these clowns don't ruin it for all Asian guys. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Have you guys met any Uncle Chans in your own life? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But that's gonna wrap this one up and I'll see you guys in the next video.